What's up, everybody? DZ Easy Street Gaming, bringing you another video. This one's on La Loon. All Town Hall Nines, all really good Town Hall Nines. It's a farming video, and what we did this video is we we use the same exact army composition, and we're gonna go over exactly what we use, exactly how we did it. Try to give someone or everyone a, that doesn't know how to do this a, a standard on how to do it. It's not really the really difficult, but the timing is can be tough. So. Go back and watch the very beginning. I'm not going to go over the very beginning part. I kind of just outlined it so you could kind of, you know, if you if you pause it and then look at exactly how you start off. I'm going to go play by play in the actual videos. But to, we start off kind of the same way uh, on all of the different attacks. We're going to start off by putting the heroes in. Then we're going to, then once the heroes do their job, then we're going to start off with the lava hounds, followed by the balloons, followed by the spells. And, uh, and and kind of just do the same thing over and over and you'll see how it works now there is a method to our madness uh, and it may seem kind of chaotic but as you and I've got a bunch of videos to show you too a bunch of different attacks they're all pretty high level town hall nines so as you get through the video you'll see uh, you'll see pretty much how you do it and if, and if you're not familiar with this attack this is probably the best attack in town hall nine so starting off with the first attack these were all done by Too Easy. He's my best Town Hall 9. And we start off with what's called uh, the Suicide Heroes. And what that means is that the heroes don't have any support. They're not going to have any other troops helping them. It's just the king and the queen going in. And normally what I'll do is I'll start off with the king. Because he's going to tank for the queen a little bit. And he'll clear out some of those outer trash buildings to give the queen access to, that, to the, the air defense that's right there on the other side of the wall. Now, it's, it's pretty important to try to get at least one air defense before you start the Lava Hound part of the attack. Uh, you, you can do it without, without the, the Queen taking out uh, an air defense, but it's a lot better if you can. So, the Queen took out the first air defense. Now, I put in two Lava Hounds, one on each of the right-hand uh, air defenses. And then quickly put some balloons in right behind it. And then I put a haste spell on, on both those little packs of balloons to try to get them on top of those air defenses as quickly as possible. And now there's, there's going to be one air defense left, and then I put the third Lava Hound on that last air defense. And meanwhile, I'm going in a pattern, go, you know, wh whichever direction the, uh, the Lava Hounds seem to shoot off in. If they shoot off toward, towards the left, you just keep on following them around to the left with the balloons. If they shoot off to the right, follow them around to, uh, to the right. Now, you'll notice that if you... Are, are able to take out one air defense and they've kind of got the air defenses all spread out evenly around the base So let's say there's uh, just for example There's an air defense north south east and west if you take out the north air defense with the queen uh, And then when you put your first two lava hounds in well, they can't go north They're gonna they, you know, they're gonna go the other way So then you kind of already know which direction the lava hounds are gonna travel Because you know once the first air defense goes down if there's a lava hound on top of that air defense He's gonna shoot off to the next uh, air defense and you just kind of want to follow the lava hounds around the base with the balloons and um, with that with this spell composition that I bring the two rage four haste and the skeleton uh, the poison in the clan castle that there are tons and tons of spells to use in this attack uh, I mean you could if we just decided to drop all the spells at one time we could probably cover the entire base there's just so many spells because of the haste spells only being that half spell uh, and you can bring four of them. Just think, four spells. So, this this attack has changed a lot since the introduction of the dark spells. The, it used to be just the rage. And it was a lot different, and people were still three starring back then. But now that you got these hay spells, and the balloons drop that first bomb even faster after the last buff they got, this is a tough attack. It's hard to defend against this attack. Um, I can I have. I have built base after base after base trying to defend against the Laloon and it's it's very hard. Now something else is I was trying to find the best Town Hall 9's I could but I kept on running into high level Town Hall 9's without Clan Castle troops. So uh, and, and you're gonna see that a lot when you're farming. You're not always gonna run into Clan Castle troops while you're farming. That's why these, uh, these farm raids are almost always 3 stars when I use them. But yet at the same time, when I use the same exact attack in war, it is much more difficult because those clan castle troops change the entire attack. So again, here comes the suicide king and queen. The king's already died. 
he cleared out for the queen now the queen the queen's still doing a little work she took out the air defense though and again starting off with two lava hounds we, we have one going on in the north one going on over there in the east put in two groups of balloons two hay spells now i put in the third lava hound and another small group of balloons behind him and r r haste them over on top of that last air defense so now at this point all the air defenses are down now this is where you can run into trouble though because now the balloons they want to go towards the center of the base and in the center of the base is a tesla farm and two air targeting um crossbows so that's when your first rage spell should come in uh you you, you definitely want to use that rage spell if those crossbows are on air because you need you need to get that um, those those balloons over there as quickly as possible, and you need that that boost to damage as well. And now check out the check out the minions. The minions. The queen lived. I dropped the skeleton spell on the queen. I dropped the rage spell on the queen, and she somehow lived through it. So we saved the rage spell and dropped all of the minions on top of the queen. They rushed over to her. They all grouped up as soon as she shot at one of them. They all got alerted and they all jumped on her. And the queen has no chance against 15 minions, not at all. They all dropped on the same time. She can kill two or three by the time she's go she's gone. As strong of, as a troop as the queen is, the skeleton spells will take her out most of the time. And what you want, what you're going to try to do with the sp with the with the skeleton spell, uh, just speaking of the, sp the spell usage, is you want to try to use your spells on as many different phases of the attack at one time. So if you can time it to where your balloons and your lava hounds are traveling over the queen and you drop the skeleton spell on the queen and then you rage the balloons and the, and the lava hounds and the skeleton spells all at one time, now you've just maximized that particular spell and there's a very good chance that the, the queen goes down, especially if she's sitting next to a defense because the balloons are going to drop on that defense and she's going to end up getting some of that splash damage on her. So, next attack, same exact start. We have the, the king. Uh, he'll take a little bit of damage, then, then we'll use, the, uh, use his ability. Now, if the clan castle is close to the edge, when he uses his ability, that will alert the clan castle troops, they'll come out. Now, it also, something I hadn't mentioned yet, um, you, you want to look at where the queen is, and if it's possible, start off with your king and queen on top of where the queen is. Because you can take out the queen with your can queen or the queen with your king and then you've got a huge advantage already. But as you can see, this attack works whether or not you get the queen or not. Because just all the different factors that are embedded in this attack. So again, uh, start off with two lava hounds. Now in this case, the air defenses were pretty deep inside the base. So both air defenses popped before the balloons can get on top of them. But the balloons did manage to get there in time. Um, as soon as the as soon as the lava hounds popped, uh, we put a rage spell so the balloons left the, those air defenses and got raged up. Took out a bunch of defenses right on the back end. Um, the last lava hound got over the last air defense, and the balloons got to that air defense before the lava hound popped. And I wanted to mention that too. I've said this on, on several other videos. We've done a lot of videos on this particular attack. This is a unique uh, attack because you want the lava hounds to pop. So you want your you want your main tanks to take enough damage to where they get into their second phase of their existence, uh, into the lava pups, and uh, you know the the golems do the same thing. Uh, once the golems take enough damage, they split into two, and now uh, once the lava pups take enough damage, they split into the pups, and you really really want those pups out there at the end of the attack and not the lava hound. The lava hound's out there now. It does such a small amount of damage compared to all the pups that it would turn into and in tight attacks Especially in war it seems if you don't get all four of those lava hounds turned into pups Then you get you end up with these high 90% attacks, and it's really frustrating uh, Last war actually, I don't know why I didn't use that attack. It was a it was a great great uh, it was one of those things that I had three troops left. I had a, the lava hound and two balloons, and I had to get like six or seven defenses. And it was like ten seconds left in the attack, and out comes a, a black balloon, and it hits the lava hound, and it pops. And then all the pups take out take out the rest of the of the trash buildings. Got the three star within one second uh, of the time limit, and that was just uh, those are some great feelings. That's the opposite of what normally happens to me. <laughs> okay, so. I know this is a repetition, but the same thing again. We start off with the king and the queen. 
this, this it's called the suicide entry uh, they go in I pop the king's ability he gets killed pretty quickly uh, but it gives the queen enough time to get over and take out an air defense their their archer queen came to defend uh, during her during my archer queen's ability she takes out the enemy archer queen takes out an air defense and starting on the air portion now because there was such a high concentration of air def of, of air targeting defenses we put in two lava hounds in the first air defense one lava hound in the second air defense and the lava hounds lived through the first air defense um, and they they joined the second lava hound on the second and now they lived at the second air defense and now they're joining it on the third and now this is one of those attacks where look at all those balloons my 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 <laughs> uh, there is no doubt what's gonna happen here and and um, you know this is kind of an unfortunate thing in a way too because if none of those lava hounds pop well there one there goes one right there uh, if none of the lava hounds pop, then you have you, it's, it's difficult to clear these bases. But we did get one to pop. Uh, I'll, there's most of the base got wiped on the way around, and this base right here, as high level as it is, there's so many rookie mistakes in this base. Uh, they have town hall surrounded by a wall, so pretty much anything that that shoots, um, that that has any kind of uh, tar ranged attack can shoot right over that wall. That's a mistake. Then they surrounded town hall with all of the storages, so there's nothing behind the storages to to defend them. So that's a mistake. So there's tons of mistakes in that base, but again, a high level base had a lot, pretty good resources on it. So let's go into a different aspect of the farm raid just for a minute. Using La Loon to farm with, what I do is I have it as one of my uh, quick builds. You know now in the, in the new settings you can use it as a quick build. And when you when you go to the quick build screen, I don't even know if that's the right name for it, but um, when you go to that screen, it will tell you how much the um, the attack is worth, how much it costs you. And it costs me just about two thousand dark elixir to bring the the three lava hounds and the fifteen minions at Town Hall Nine. So at at 2,000 Dark Elixir, you cannot attack a base for less than that and actually turn a profit. And also, you can't really just go assume that you're going to 3 star every single time. So you really need to find bases that have, you know, at least the 2,000 you're going to invest. Now I think at the, at the league that I'm in, I get another 700 Dark Elixir. I'm in kind of a low league. Uh, so I get another 700 Dark Elixir just for... Um, if I 100% uh, on the attack, by 100% I mean 100% of the bonus. So there's some right there. So I want at least 22 or 2300 in Dark Elixir. That way I'll I'll profit a thousand Dark Elixir. Um, I'm really going for I'm really looking for base to have at least 4,000 Dark Elixir. But sometimes it's hard, especially in these higher um, higher leagues, because the higher leagues. These players know how to protect their loot, and they know how to, they, they'll farm and farm and farm and then spend it. They're just good at managing that loot. And I managed to talk my way through this entire attack. This is actually a pretty good base. Now, in this particular attack, what, what I did, and I'd like to do this a lot. I know, and I've seen a lot of players, what they'll do is that they will put the Lava Hounds in. Then right after the Lava Hounds, they'll put a big line of balloons in. Then they'll hit a couple Rage or a couple Haste. And they'll they'll rage up the the balloons and the, the balloons start pushing towards the middle of the base and then right behind the balloons they'll put in a whole line of minions and the minions will catch that same spell um, boost so you have the balloons going through the spell boost then you have the minions right behind it going through the spell boost now I don't do that just because the archer queen can burn you if you do that and what I mean is if the archer queen is somewhere that she's not accessible and you don't plan for her or in some cases hold troops back for her then she may start plucking off balloons and before you know it she's taken out seven or eight or nine balloons and then she can easily take care of all the puffs unless unless they just group up on her so what I like to do is I like to hold on to those minions like I did and I believe it was the second raid in this video where the Queen lived and she was about to ruin the attack but then I put 15 minions in on her and uh, in a rage which I was able to take take her out Okay, I, I just paused for a couple seconds so I can get ready. We're going to do a live attack for the last part of the video. 
So I'm going to I'm going to find a base that is I'm going to try, I'm going to look here. I'm not going to look for too long, but I'm going to shuffle through 10 or 15 bases until I find a good one. Hopefully I can find one quick. Sometimes I'll have to next 100 times, but I'm not going to do that for the video. But well, I'm going to look for a pretty hard Town Hall 9 that's got some loot on it. And we're going to see if we can't get a live attack off uh, that that's worth something. And uh, and look at this, 4,000. This is what I'm looking for at all times. You know, i got 4,000 Dark Elixir. got plenty of Elixir and Gold. Uh, my bonus is over 100,000 for the bonus and Gold. So this is the perfect base right here. So I'm going to look at the base. It looks like the Queen, she's deep enough where I don't think she'll come out if I put the King and the Queen down on her. So, but the air defenses are close to the edge. So I think I'm going to start off and put the king and the queen over near where the queen, where the enemy archer queen is. And hopefully I can draw her out with my king. And if I can take out this air defense up there and the archer queen. And I don't know if they have any clan castle troops. But if I can do that, then I know I'll be pretty good to, just to start off. And so my queen died, my king died right away. It looks like the queen locked onto him. And I'm already being targeted. Uh, the queen's already being targeted. Gonna have to use her ability. And I got the air defense, so that's good. Looks like I have a, a crossbow that's gonna get into the game here. So the, my queen goes down. Did not get their archer queen. That's okay though. So now we're gonna start on the air portion of the attack. We'll start off on the other side. And I'm gonna put two of these two lava hounds on in this first air defense. Put a haste spell on them. Then I'm going to go put one more down in the second air defense. And I want I want this Lava Hound to cross over as many of the defenses as possible. That's why I didn't go put it in right down bottom. I put it in over here on the right side. That way it crosses over all those defenses and they're all going to target the Lava Hound. And now I'm going to put in the Clan Castle Lava Hound, which is the max one. I'm going to put it in that same air defense just to give it some help. And now, now those two Lava Hounds are going to cross over the whole base. And that's going to give me plenty of time to put in these last couple of uh, balloons. And what I'm probably going to do here is put in a big row of minions right at the end. So now I still have a poison for the queen. I've already dropped the, the skeleton spell on top of the queen. And she's, see, she's handling those skeletons pretty well. I'm going to poison her. And now I, I think I'm going to have to use the, the minions on the queen. So put the minions in and... They all targeted the queen. The pups and the minions take out the queen. And it looks like the balloons are going up to the last defense. So now we've got all of the defenses out. And now it's just cleanup time. So hey, look at that. Easy with a three star. Or hopefully a three star. I got plenty of time. I don't do that very often. I, I usually screw up my live attacks. <laughs> And then I forget to talk. I, I'm going to do one of the two. Either I'm going to two-star it or, or worse. Or I'm going to forget to talk completely while I'm doing it. <laughs> so, this is we're going to end up the video with this, uh, this attack here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know we've done a lot of La Luna vi videos, but that's probably the strongest attack in Town Hall 9. So, if you're not doing La Luna in Town Hall 9, I would strongly suggest that you do Town Hall 9 La Luna. It is so strong. Um, you won't regret it. I know you won't. So, again, appreciate everyone for watching till the end. Hey, if you haven't subbed to the channel yet, sub to the channel. We have the new update coming. We're, we are already, I've already made some changes to our website. And I am getting ready to, to go on a whole new spin on this channel uh, based on the update. I can't wait for it. So, one more time. Thanks for everyone watching. Till next time, it's been easy. Take care, everybody.